Attention terrorists, hold on. Here's Tara's Daily Rant. There's Lee. We've been hearing this conspiracy theory for a long time. A cabal of elite Satan worshipers, Mm -hmm. right? In our media, uh, politics, Hollywood, something like that. That's how the conspiracy goes. Alex Jones has made, has made bank off this over at Info, Info Wars for a long time. And people have been texting me this conspiracy theory on the text line. I promptly ignore their text. All right. Satanic cult conspiracy. Let's move on, right? Silly. That's not go. Wait. What? Mm. I swear the show every day, every day, it gets crazier. And I'm not even doing it. I'm just reporting the news. Oh, yeah. You've got to ask the serious question were they wrong? Were they wrong? You don't have to make this stuff up. No, you don't. I just, I, I literally don't. Because CBS News is on the job. Not CBS News, but CBS, the company, is on the job. Okay. Here's why the word Satan was trending on Twitter. So this had everybody talking yesterday. And because there's no filters now, it was trending. Before, it wouldn't be trending. You wouldn't be able to speak of it. And it is shocking. Okay. Going back to the Grammys last week. And I don't know why our side didn't point this out. This is the second Grammy opener featuring Satan. Two years in a row. I did a Battleground podcast on it a year ago. They brought in Nas X wearing his 666 retooled Nike shoes with the drop of human blood and the satanic curse on them. Those shoes. And he performed a transgender pro-Satan dance. In the background, the Prince of Darkness... Really scary looking Prince of Darkness. Looks like the guy from Games, Game of Thrones. You know, the bad guy. Anyway. Um, Didn't and see he, it, so I don't know. Yeah, it's okay. And he's got horns on his head and everything. Um, and the dancers are feigning uh, piano playing with Satan. You know, piano playing, of course, being a euphemism that we use on yeah. the show for other activities that are adults. Um, very clearly feigning relations with Satan. That's the Grammys last year. This year, they did it again. Another Satan, complete with horns. Song is unholy. That's what it's called. But to promote this, the guy who did the singing, Sam Smith, puts a bunch of tweets out where he explicitly says, this is going to be a demonic performance. It's going to feature devil worship. Right there. Satan, satanic worship. We're going to put it right there on the Grammys? Yeah, the Grammys. Okay. CBS puts on the Grammys. You know, CBS, right? Yeah, it used to be referred to as the Tiffany Network. Right, those people. May, uh, mainstream Media Network. It CB- used to bring you touched by an angel. Yeah. I'm sure all those people have been fired. Yeah, um, yeah so CBS. That j- Lest you think this was just the performer, Sam Smith, you know, sweetened something he maybe shouldn't have said. CBS retweets his tweet, so they're promoting it, right? Retweets his tweet about why you should tune into the Grammys. He flat out says this will offend Christians and that there will be devil worship in his performance. So CBS retweets this mess with... The kind of thing that Donald Trump used to get in trouble about, retweeting stuff. Right, right. With the words, quote, we can't wait to worship, exclamation point. They're retweeting his tweet saying, hey, this is going to feature devil worship. And CBS, the official Twitter feed of CBS, retweets, we can't wait to worship, exclamation point. The devil? It doesn't get more in your face than this. Terrorists want it. Hear the Terror Show weekday mornings on 1063 WORD and the Odyssey app.